Oh, no, we don't. We're not going to go down this road again. Yeah, the last time we drank this stuff, we ended up flat on our backs. Yeah, and that stuff was the fake stuff. You mean this is the real stuff this time? It sure is. Let's try it. Okay. Hey, everybody. Well, I tell you, those pigs, I got to keep them out of my liquor cabinet. They are constantly getting into stuff they're not supposed to be. So, uh, yes, you heard right. This is real Romulan ale. This is really cool. Now, if you watched my last video, I did a review of a, a, a prop replica of this bottle. It was just a prop replica. And this is the real stuff. This is actual real Romulan ale. So a company called StarTrekSpirits.com. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description so you can check them out. But StarTrekSpirits.com is where I got this. And they actually made some real Romulan ale. This is really cool. They make, this is actually a, a rye whiskey is what this is. And they also make a vodka. The vodka has got a lighter blue color than this. And then the rye whiskey, which this is, has the traditional darker blue color. But this looks fantastic. Um, you can see they got the nice Romulan label on the front, just like it was in the movie and on the shows. I'm guessing that says Romulan Ale and Romulan. I'm not really sure. And on the back here, there's some information about it, and I'll, we'll take a look at this here in just a minute. But it's really cool. You know, they tell you a little bit about it. And you can actually take this label off so that if you want it to look more like the prop, you can take that off. It was kind of cool that they thought about, you know, the fact that you might want to use it as a collectible. Now these are limited editions. I don't know how many they're going to make in this limited edition and they're all numbered. This one is 6655. So uh, I don't know how many of these are going to make total. So if you want one of these you may want to get them before they're gone. But I think they did a fantastic job uh, not only, you know, in the process of making the liquor itself but the bottle. Uh, the bottle itself on the movies was made out of acrylic and it had layers of acrylic here and there was like a tube in the middle that would allow the liquid to come out. Now, they had to take some artistic license with this because, first of all, they had to make it out of glass because there's certain laws when bottling liquor or when you're going to ship it out of state or whatever that they have to abide by. And uh, so they had to kind of work with that. But I think what they came up with here was fantastic. I saw some of their prototypes and I think they had a really good kind of combination of what they had decided on with these layers and stuff like that. But it looks really good. I think the lid looks really nice as well. So let's take a look at that back label. So taking a look at this back label, we can see that it is a limited edition. This is number 6655. So it says, from its first appearance in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, Romulan Ale has become legendary throughout the galaxy, well known as a highly potent beverage of Romulan origin, with its characteristic crystal blue color. The Romulan libation was declared illegal by the Federation in early 2280. Even as the Federation attempted to abolish it, Romulan Ale has remained a popular and sought-after spirit, not only standing the test of time, but also improving with it. This bottle of Romulan Ale you hold, oh, it's actually Romulan Rye, you hold in your hands, was produced and bottled by a 13th generation master distiller, premium ingredients, and classic techniques combined to create this legendary spirit. Best served on a rock of ice, or in a classic cosmic cocktail. And then they have the, the line that Kirk says, he goes, Romulan ale, why, Bones, you know this is illegal. <laughs> that famous line. And that was the first time we got to see Romulan ale and became accustomed to it or introduced to it. So very cool that they kind of give you a little bit of backstory on it right there. As I mentioned, I got this from StarTrekSpirits.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. I am not being sponsored by them or anything like that. Uh, I just happened to find out about this stuff, and I thought maybe other Star Trek fans might be interested in getting a bottle of this and trying it. Now, don't forget, you've got to be 21 years or older in order to buy this stuff. When you go on their website, um, they talk about the process of making the whiskey and the vodka, and they went through quite a process to do it. It looks like they took a lot of care in making it, so I think that's pretty cool. So the whiskey is $85, and then the uh, vodka is $75, so the vodka is about $10 cheaper than the, the uh, whiskey, but I think the bottle alone is kind of, you know, a nice little temptation to buy it. Now, um, I'm not a connoisseur of whiskey or anything like that. I couldn't tell you the difference between a, 
a really expensive bottle of whiskey and a, a real cheap bottle of whiskey. So I wouldn't even know the difference. But for me personally, I think this is really cool. Now, I was in a bit of a pickle because at Christmas time, which is coming up here as the making of this video, um, I always go over to my brother and my sister-in-law's house and my nephews are there. And we do this really fun beer tasting thing. They bring over all these really unusual beers for us to try. And I thought I would really like to bring over a bottle of Romulan whiskey for us to try, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to open it because if it's a collectible, I'm not sure I should be opening it. So just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and bought another one so I can keep one as a collectible. And just in case they become really collectible, which you never know, I thought I'd better get one more since these are limited editions and I don't know how many of these they're going to make or how long they're going to be around. But uh, anyway, I just think they're pretty neat just as a collectible. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> we were so young. We still had our whole lives ahead of us. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're still here. We're still alive. I... Oh, well then what's this? Somebody's bad idea for a joke, apparently. <laughs> of all the nerve. 